Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to get no clip in Half-Life 2 without using SV cheats or without typing no clip into console. Instead, I'm gonna use a very fun glitch. By the way, I don't mean this kind of flying that you are seeing right now. This is faster than no clip, by the way. This is a combination of accelerated backwards and sideways hopping where the game gives me backward speed because it thinks I'm trying to be up forwards. Okay, now we are loading into another map and now let's save the game and load the save. Now let's delete the save that we just created and let's try to load the deleted save now. Ah, the game got confused. We got our airboat back. Let's get in, it will be needed. I'm gonna show my position with this command right here. So I can perform this glitch by looking at the middle coordinate number right here. I could do it pixel by pixel, but this is faster. Now I'm gonna go back until the position number is around 9990. Okay. And I'll push the airboat until the number is around the same. And get in. And I'll get off when the number is at 10,150. And we got no clip. <laughs> so you're probably a bit confused and have no idea what happened right now. I'm gonna explain it to you. First off, every time you're in a vehicle, or when you are entering a vehicle, you are basically in a scripted no clip mode. Thanks to this, it can be abused. I got behind a trigger that changes the map. What I did was, since when you are in the entering animation, the triggers don't work on you, because triggers don't work in no clip. I pushed the vehicle behind the trigger and entered it. Then I left the vehicle and got inside the trigger. The map changed. Everything in the big trigger transitions to the next map with me. Since the airboat wasn't in the big trigger, the game deleted the airboat while I was still getting out of it, so it let me keep the no clip mode and we can fly around like birds. Whee! Aha! Since we are in no clip, he cannot hurt us. And you can destroy him. Oh, what is this? Oh, so that's what's making the noise. I see. That makes sense. Cool. Hmm, you can get some help here from these boxes if you want to. Oh, <laughs> and no clip is the best way to confuse this helicopter. I'm invincible. I'm not here. I'm next to you. I am everywhere. <laughs> hmm, and with no clip, we can visit the map skybox. This is in every source game, by the way. In Team Fortress 2 or Grace mode, when one enters this area, everyone else who is playing the game normally will see the guy as a giant, since everything that's in here renders to the actual map with a much bigger size. Ah, beautiful. This is possible without SV Cheats 1, by the way. <laughs> okay, now we will use this barnacle to get out of the no clip mode. Ah, kill it. But fun fact. We keep some of our no clip attributes. For example, enemies or helicopters cannot hurt us. Or, if we pick up this barrel, we can teleport through walls with it. Make it straight and. <clears throat> okay, second try. And we teleport it. This works because the character model has two hitboxes. One in Quake Physics Ward and another in Havoc Physics Ward. In vehicles, Havoc Hitbox has collisions disabled for props. Since we kept the vehicle attribute, this allows us to throw a Havoc Hitbox through walls by colliding with a prop and teleport to a new location after it passes through the wall into an empty space behind it. Thanks to this glitch, we can use this barrel to skip this part and then use this box to get inside here. Or you can buck into the ground, right here. Ah, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh no, I'm stuck. Rip. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and try the glitch yourself, it's really fun. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. If you wanna see this glitch in practice, you can watch my speedrun stream on the screen. Or if you want to know how to stop a train or how to play portal without portals, check my source engine playground playlist and subscribe for more videos like this.